Okay, so this is the conditioning circuit for the boys' lesson. At the first bar, they're going to hold on to the rings and do an inverted hang with their feet on the mat. And if they're a little less advanced, they can just try to lift their butt off the floor. At the next bar, hold on to the bar, feet up on the mat, and uh, they're going to do uh, four leg lifts. And if they want, they could try it with both feet if they want to challenge themselves. On the barrel, we're going to be doing a half handstand, so feet up on the mat, stack their hips over their shoulders, and count, I guess, count their age. At the next station, we're going to do front support dips. So jump to front support and bend your arms. You can always challenge them by adding a bunny in between their ankles or giving more, them more reps. Over here, hands go on the bars, feet on the monkey, and jump three times, and jump their feet up on the, bar, on the bars. Uh, for less advanced, they can just jump and then step their feet up onto the bars. And then they're going to walk their hands out and do three mountain push-ups. Over here, uh, more advanced students can start over here and jump into their forward roll. And if they're less advanced, then they can start standing on top and roll. At the next station, we're going to be doing side-to-side -side jumps. And if you want to challenge them, you can add a bunny in between their ankles. At the next station, we're doing beanbag balancing 2.0. Uh, balance the beanbags on your feet, on the balance beam. It's much more challenging. You can tell them that if they lose them, to keep going. Because otherwise, the station's going to become a clogging station. Over here, we're doing, um, can you remind me what they're called? Caterpillars? Inchworms. Or inchworms. Uh, walk their hands out and then walk their feet up. Walk their hands out to plank. Make sure they walk it all the way out and walk their feet back up. All the way down the balance beam. This is really good for stabilization and balance and core. Uh, over here, on the alligator, plank position, and then they're going to do three push-ups. And lastly, on the trampoline, we're going to do side-to-side -side donkey kicks. And you could challenge them to get their butt all the way to the wall, give them a rabbit in between their ankles, and that is the starting circuit. Okay, so this is the boys' lesson, the back of the room. We're going to have uh, two different ways. We have a less advanced and more advanced version. So this is a less advanced circuit. On the first station, they're going to work on a tuck hangs upside down, and they can try to hold that, and then come back down. On the next station, they're gonna grab an apple, or you can use a dice, because the apples bounce a little bit. Uh, they're gonna stand on the mat, put the apple in their chin, jump to front support, then they're going to lean forward, try to drop it in the box, and then bring their toes down to the mat and push back up to front, to front support. I think it's set a little too high, actually. Okay. So, yeah, make notes. Uh... <laughs> At the next station, they're going to jump to front support, and they're going to bend, 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 and try to touch their nose to the balloon and then come back up to front support. That's someone to try to do it with straight elbows. Yeah, with straight elbows if they can. At the next station, they're going to take a bean bag, put it in between their ankles, uh, go all the way under the bars, and try to bring their toes up and over their head and drop the bean bag. And they can try that with all the bean bags. And then at this next station, they're going to put their hands on the blue mat. And with straight legs, they're going to jump their hips all the way up as high as they can. The last station is lying down on the trampoline. 
with feet on the ball and they're just going to lift their hips and try to balance and that's all they're going to do. They can count their age and then come back down and then try it again. Okay, so the advanced group is going to start over here with the TheraBands on the bar and they're going to lift one leg, put it inside the band, lift it in the air, and then they're going to bring their other leg next to it, hanging with straight arms, and try to pull their chin up all the way to the bar. And make sure you tell them to be very careful when they're coming down because we don't want them to get snapped in the face with the TheraBand, so lower it down slowly. At the next station, they're going to hold the bar with two hands, pick up one foot, bend the other leg, and kick, try to kick up and over. Make sure they can hold their chin to the bar before they kick up and over. Over here, they're going to walk their feet up and pull their chin to the bar. They're gonna do three chin ups. And after three, they can lift one leg at a time. Over here, we're looking for an upside, for a V shape or a tunnel. Okay, so that's the goal in lifting up their legs. In the pullover, they really need to, need to hold that V shape. At this station, they're going to lie down under, pick their feet up over the second bar, put the bean bag in between their ankles and lift it up and over the bar. At the next station, they're going to put their hands on and with really straight legs, try to lift their hips up as high as they can. If you want, you can give them a bunny to hold in between their ankles. And at the last station, they're going to put their feet up on the ball, grab the weights in their hands up by their ears, lift their hips, and then with their hands, they're gonna do a back and forth motion like riding a motorcycle, and this is going to help strengthen their wrists. <laughs> so over here by the vaulting station uh, in the front of the room it's pretty much going to be almost the exact same for the advanced and the less advanced so over here we're going to have our hands on our hips or out like airplanes and we're going to pick up one foot point your toe and jump to two feet that's it they don't have to specifically jump to safety stop because eventually you want them to rebound so if those look good, you can show them to jump to two feet and jump one more time. And then on the next station, they're gonna run down the line and end in a safety stop. You can tell them to do it nice and slow and land with two feet. The next station, they're working on jumping from two feet apart to two feet together. And you want to really tell them to try to point their toes when they jump up and down especially on the way up, that will be a little harder. Beautiful. Then they're gonna come to the next line, and over here at the next line, they're gonna work on uh, uh, opposite hand, opposite foot balances. So for the beginner group, you can just do a basic opposite hand, opposite foot. For the more advanced group, you can choose something more advanced. You can even ask them to help you choose something more advanced, so something like that. Just make sure they're crossing their center line. And then, when you come to the last station for this, they're going to be on the monkey. And the less advanced group is definitely gonna go do straight jumps to safety stop. And the more advanced group, if they want to, they can use the jump rope. Just please tell them that if they use the jump rope, they should make sure to keep moving the mat, uh, the purple mat right next to the springboard so they don't slip off the edge. Um, just one pointer for the vault circuit is they shouldn't be left at the stations for the vault circuit. They should just keep going around, um, you know, do two or three turns at each station. If you do want to call switch, just make sure to do it every 30 seconds. And I think that's it. Anything else, Coach Malka? I think that's it. Awesome.